What's going on here? Hold on. What up? Are we live? Check one, two. We live. Yeah, we What's up, guys? It's me, Carla B. I don't know if you guys could see that video. Um, I just want to scare it? you in the opener. Uh, Larry, Larry found some TikTok videos that are very fun, and now I've been stalking this woman online for quite a while. Um, I don't know if you got to see that video, but she said she'll take out every major person, every like family. How do you even choose who the major person is in the family? Like, is there some sort of role they play? I don't know. Are we going? All right, we'll play that video back in a minute. Well, yeah, we'll play it back in a minute. Yeah, Sorry about that. we're just messing with the structure of things, guys. We're still, you know, figuring the things out. But I am Carla V. We're here with Carla V. Thanks out loud. Episode 26. This week, I'm really stoked to have a guest on that I've wanted to have for a minute. He's one of the newest comedians in Albuquerque. Super talented, super hardworking. He even has his first show tonight at Revel. Give it up for Jake Otero. Hello, guys. Hello, yeah. everybody. How are you guys doing? We'll Thank you right so much there. for having me. This is awesome. <laughs> guys, and we'll be back with Jake in a minute to talk more. Thanks Ooh. for being here, Jake. Carla's got podcast now she doesn't know technology larry's pushing buttons and recording things for you to see every week she'll be asking guests questions she'll be saying a lot she'll be wondering about the world it's time now for carla v thinks out loud and we're back we are here jake otero lovely to have you i don't, I don't know what the deal Do is you, with that i'm sorry we'll have to play that tiktok video i guess we didn't have sound on that um Jake, do you get on TikTok a lot? Um, I actually don't have TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> Isn't it, aren't you like a young kid? Shouldn't you be on there? Yeah, um, all of my friends have it, but um, I still haven't downloaded it. I think it was because. Uh, do you remember Vine? Oh right. I used to love Vine, so like I kind of feel like I'm betraying it if I get like TikTok. <laughs> Vine is dead. <laughs> no, it took me literally like forever to get on TikTok, and, and really, Larry is the one that convinced me more to do it. And now I just stalk people like this lovely one. Yeah, I really don't even watch that much other stuff because she has so much good contact, and then my thumb just gets like tired. Do you do Snapchat then? Um, I don't have Snapchat. No. <laughs> you seem like a pretty not in a good way. I mean, this yeah. not like um gen z out like with the all the social media all the yeah yeah i uh enjoy uh, privacy <laughs> i get like even like being in comedy it's like i'm posting more stuff and so uh that's been new but uh yeah it's uh i enjoy privacy <laughs> but, it is um, so no yeah. like, even more i mean people will be like well you get on stage and tell jokes and i don't know why like social media is more i don't know yeah it's a it's a different ball game <laughs> i'm in your face right uh, <laughs> Yeah, but the Snapchats, all of that. I I barely have enough time. I need to get back on Twitter or something. Yeah. I I just want one. Like, can we just have one? Yeah, like, exactly. Like Instagram is fine. Like that's a good one. <laughs> that's all I want. Yeah, yeah Instagram's about the one I'm, I'm the most on. Yeah. So you do have a show tonight after this. So we will yes. be done like within an hour to get you out of here to that. Perfect. Sounds and good. it's our your first. Yes, my first uh booked show, which is uh it's exciting. A little nerve wracking, but uh, I'm excited for it. It's gonna be cool. Aww. How many? How much time are you doing? I'm just doing five. Five yeah. minutes. Are you opening? Opening? Do you know the lineup yet? Um, I don't know the lineup, but I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna be opening because the other people are coming from uh, El Paso. Oh, so, who's uh, on the show? It's uh, it's Anthony uh, Brown, I believe. Oh shit, I like him. I yeah. know some of the El Paso people. Anthony Austin Brown. Yeah, and then like yeah. Otis. Um, I can't remember the. Oh last name. yes, Otis is really funny. Yeah, so they're on it, and then AJ, and then uh, Steph. Nice. Headline. That's gonna be a great show with you guys, man. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you um how do you feel about like if you were having to open? Uh that's completely fine. Yeah. Especially like being new. Um, I don't mind the opening like at all, even if it's like open mics from first. Um, I don't really mind it much. Do you get pretty nervous on stage? Um, when with the open mics, uh it's kind of become like um it's a lot better. I don't get as nervous. Like right when they call my name, it's uh, I get like butterflies. But then mm -hmm. when I'm up there, it's fine. 
but uh for this show uh with it being my first book show i'm i'm pretty nervous that's yeah. exciting but it's yeah. like a good excitement i'm yes. sure not like a ugly nerve <laughs> yeah yeah not the icky nervous exactly uh, but yeah. i was gonna say that i asked that too because on stage at the open mics that's where i've seen you a lot because jake does go out all mm -hmm. the time to the mic so if you go out to see some comedy you will see him um but you do seem to hold your energy pretty well up there like you don't yeah. seem easily shaken uh -huh. by things and i think maybe in my opinion that goes to a lot to how well you are as a writer like you yeah. seem pretty confident in knowing your material is that mm -hmm something you do a lot like do you work hard on just memorization how do you prepare yeah so um it's a lot of the memorization what's really weird is so um i have like like adhd or something because mm -hmm. it's really hard for me to remember stuff so what i'll do is it's pretty weird but like i'll stand in my room and just kind of imagine there's people out there and i'll just rehearse my set over and over and over again oh, that's awesome. so it like gets stuck in there but i have to do that for like hours on end just to be able to remember it mm -hmm. and then at a certain point uh, it's just in my head. So I'm able to just uh, like remember. And then that gets better too, because it's, I'm able to lead into different things because some stuff like at the beginning, like I would have like one topic and it would kind of be spread out within the set. So like now I'm able to like keep it together in chunks and then just move on to the next subject. Yeah. 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 That's a great thing about comedy is finding out the different ways you can kind of piece together your sets or different yeah. ways you can prepare, but it sounds like you already are just like on your, you, you sound like a true comedian, my friend. Thank <laughs> like, you, thank you so much. You're not just like I don't know. I'm gonna wing it and see. I mean, some people can do that, but they also know what they're gonna maybe say. And yes. then there's some people I've seen that are like, "Why am I not getting booked?" I'm like, "Cause you never plan a single thing." And you say you're yeah. the greatest comedian on earth. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy who's no longer in the scene that would do that, <laughs> which is fun. Uh, Larry, how are we at on those videos? I'm gonna try and let's try and play one now. Right, we'll let's try and play it and see. Uh... We're, we're having a, a sound something we got a lot of wires guys it's not wires <laughs> there's a lot happening in the ether the uh the cloud it's raining in the cloud right now right. it's there's a tsunami on the switchboard Ooh, tsunami right. switchboard that's fun to say so Ooh, let's see if patty can hear all right patty's our test test audience so here we go apparently, apparently your earnings, earnings can be stolen, stolen from, from you, you. Um, patty thumbs up yeah. yeah. If, if someone, someone doesn't, doesn't get me out of this cage and let me live my life, I promise you, my next go around, around on this earth, I will kill fucking everyone. everyone. I will, I will become, become the worst, worst fucking serial killer that, that has, has ever, ever been, been fucking known, known to man. man. I will I make sure I kill everybody who's rich. rich. I will, I will make, make sure, sure I, take I take one, one fucking, I'll, 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 I'll take, take the major, major person out of, out of every, every fucking family, family so that, that everybody, everybody can feel my motherfucking pain. pain. Apparently your, your earnings can be stolen from you. She's the best. Um, <laughs> Larry, tell us what you, what you told us before about her. <laughs> How does she make you feel? Um, she's like, okay, so... I found this chick just came up on my pot on my my for you page and basically um she has thousands of these yeah all the yeah. same thing nothing but fucking constant crazy hate i'll play some more here Wild i'll show you what stuff. i'm talking about and she always ends with something totally out of the box where you're like that doesn't even make sense like you were on to something maybe and then yeah. you're like wait what yeah <laughs> well from what i gather she has one or two children that have obviously been taken away from her yes now look we're not making that. fun of no, this girl no. we're not this is literally for just to show you this chick i'm not trying to make fun yeah, of her so anything it's very some... interesting it's very like what the hell um on your mom's house podcast they have a one guy called fed smoker that dude that smoker is wild and again you can have you ever see... looked up fed smokers revenge on tiktok no there's thousand more videos that Are you've you never seen he was on tiktok before he died mm -hmm. so he's got this guy fed smoker who was like <coughs> caught thought he hated police he called everybody a chomo which is a child molester yeah have you watched your mom's house uh, i haven't seen and that particular one yeah fed, so fed well smoker. no it's li like they show him all the time yeah. like, really Pretty much, like there's a video, like Tom brings him up, like they keep a lot. finding more and more really? videos on the internet that he's done of him just showing up at businesses and like, where's the man in charge? And like you, like just fucking up shit. And then yeah. he would 
feather his hair or he cut his hair by like lighting it on fire basically while oh. inside of his car. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. He pulled his own tooth. Yeah. He yeah. pulled his own okay. tooth on camera. <laughs> and again, we're not making fun. It's just that interesting what is out there in the different types of yeah. people. Like we're not mental health shaming here. No, no, and this all. is a mental we, health show. To, yeah. yeah. And we talk a lot about mental right. health. And so I want to get that out of the way. First of all, that we're not making fun of her. We're not yeah. trying to be all, Oh, what the, huh? Yeah, I'm concerned, well, did, but well, intrigued and concerned. Yeah. <laughs> intrigued, very intrigued. Like I am extremely intrigued in this chick. Like, like almost to the point where, like, I want to know where she lives. Yeah, <laughs> she hasn't fucking said, find her. She hasn't said anything about her location, but she'll allude sometimes. The other day, she put one about her at a politician, and she was like, "Give me my money back." or something she's like there's a politician that took my money like her ex-boyfriend and like huh. just out of the blue saying like every man took her money did you see the one of her calling all nerds if you yeah go down, then... and then she went on this biker trip i didn't see that you didn't I see the one where far. she talks about her ex is a biker and oh yeah she talks about her biker ex and then she says that she only wants like a gangster man and then she's like, men are making me fat you want me skinny but you make me this way yeah. and like she's not even fat and i'm like Oh my god. Well, here's a, yeah, it's pretty weird. So I'm gonna play this one next. Um I don't know who needs to hear this, but all and she always starts it. I don't know who needs to hear Yeah. Y'all happy out, out there with all, all the lights, lights in your motherfucking face? face? How do How y'all do, do that? that? Why, Why is, is there, there no, no fire, fire in your face? face? How, How do y'all, y'all do that? Do that? I don't know who needs to hear this, this, but um, sharing sharing is not not caring. caring. Especially Especially when when you have have to go behind behind someone's back back to do it. it. I'm going to rip rip every every fucking light light out of of every every half-ass person's person's face. face. Mic Mic drop. drop. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, and there's like 10 more seconds on it too, isn't there? Well, no, that's the end. That's (laughs) mic drop, and then it does the TikTok open thing. (laughs) <laughs> I like the mic drop. The happy is again because she talks about being like sometimes like a dark angel or something. Well, I've got more like this. Yeah. Is, do, how with... do you? Would you be interested in dating a person like this? Jake? No. Yeah. That is... is this your type? <laughs> yeah, heard... but what if you didn't? What? If, let's say, like I don't know what I don't know how yeah. old. It... What if you just saw her like? Not... Sorry, Larry. I cut you off. No, you're good. Not my type. <laughs> not your type. No. Just her, not even the videos, like if you're just like, hey, she could be cute, done up in some makeup, you know, like I don't think she wears makeup on any of these videos, like, you know, she's cute. And- she's cute. She's, I don't know what it is, but she's mildly attractive. Yeah, I can like, see it. With her craziness, <laughs> He you looks know? at Patty. Yeah. He looks all over at Patty. He's like, Patty, she's mildly so- I mean, but she, and then she always has her like cleavage up in the shots too, and it's like hard not to look. And you're just like, no, 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 it's it. not the cleavage. <laughs> no, but just her. It's the deadness in the eye. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I was like, she has a nice face. He's like, I like him a little dead inside, like me. Because <laughs> Larry doesn't have the light in his eyes or something. <laughs> yeah, and she posts about three videos an hour. And well, yeah. yesterday there were three videos uh, all together, like, you know, one after the other kind of deal. And then there were ones that were separated by an hour. Mm-hmm. But anywhere between three to four videos a day, and I'm not, yeah. and more sometimes. And this chick, I'm not kidding you, dude. Like every video is like this, like yeah. thousands to where I can't even like um, scroll what down. Problem? Do you think she's? Suffering? I think she's schizophrenic. Yeah, I think schizophrenia. Yeah, I think, and it possibly a mix of like bipolar in there, maybe. Mm-hmm. Bipolar, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. definitely, yeah. I'd say some maybe that PTSD of sorts. Yeah. Uh, but all of that can like lead into each other. Um, I don't know. The brain as well. The multiple um, yeah. at once. And yeah, it seems like she was maybe even in the mental hospital at one point alluding to that. She which, did allude to that a little bit. Which I'm happy that she would go get help, but it kind of seemed like she was angrier. Yeah. Was well, like, here's, well. Here's, a, here's another one. I'm just kind of going in order. Yeah. But the one I sent you to set you off I was in here, I think, where she talks about she wants to be a serial killer. and <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> she might be on the news. Is me? Or does, does anyone, anyone else see... see? Like, like two dimensional faces, faces on the wall of, of dead, dead people. people. Or, or 
like, like on, on the floor, floor and the tiles, tiles or just like in, in random, random things. things. Those, Those are, are people, people who got, got sent, sent to the second, second dimension. dimension. Because, because they were, they were such, such a piece of shit human, human being. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. But laugh. I can't help it either. I can't help but laugh because it's like so like kind of scary and you're worried and then she throws yeah. something in like that. They're sent to the second dimension to also drugs. Do you think maybe drugs? No, I'm a very I'm very well versed in drugs and <laughs> well I don't know. Like it's really hard to tell. Well, you can usually tell if somebody's on mushrooms, they're sweating. She doesn't um, seem to blink a lot. Like lots of illness. watery eyes happens when mm. you're too in mushrooms, uh, acid too. So I don't think it's either one of those. Um, you would definitely tell if she was on acid kind of because she's either it's either laced with heroin or speed. Yeah, yeah so. and I don't think she'd be that angry. No, you'd be that angry. Is she like, on yeah. acid? Don't those people like grateful <laughs> I've had a couple just, people trip yeah. out and shit. I, I've done acid have... a few times and I've I felt like really happy, but again, it wasn't much. It was right. just like one tab. Have you delved into many drugs in your life? Because you're how old? Um, I'm 24. Okay. And um, yeah, like um, I started uh, smoking weed pretty young, and then uh, like the mushrooms, LSD, that type of stuff, okay. and uh, and then drinking, uh, obviously. <laughs> yeah, you don't drink anymore though. No, or you're no. not currently. No. Um. Yeah, I've been sober for like nine months. Okay. Completely sober. Yeah. Yeah. What, well, what made you what made you get sober um it, it was a uh, just a lot of drinking like for a period of like maybe a little less than a it. year i was getting like blackout drunk every mm. single night that's not good and uh, yeah it was it was tough i've had friends die from alcohol like it's, abuse yeah, yeah. Well, there's a uh, where yeah. they tried to get off and then they died getting off yes i've heard of yep. that too and uh, that just scares me there's like uh um, like liver problems in the family mm. too and so it, uh, it just made me want to get completely sober. I was like, because I get real paranoid about just like medical stuff because I hate going to the doctor. I hate oh, the dentist. Okay. And so I was like, I need to get healthy and yeah. stop doing all this. And then all just, just all the dumb stuff that like alcohol just invites into your life. Like I'd rather just I not hate it. any of it. Mm -hmm. it I used bad. to drink a lot and I just can't. And I used to be a DJ back in the day. Yeah. I also run sound for a lot of places. And drunks just drive me crazy, dude. Yes. Just yeah. like, I can't stand yeah. them. And then I would get drunk and be like, Ooh. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because there's a point where it's like, <laughs> sounds awful. It's like I don't want to be the only one not seeming like an idiot and having them annoy me. So I guess I'll just catch up. <laughs> I mean, I think that's how I used to feel when I was younger. I was like, I'll yeah. just be one of these drunks with them. Yeah. Um, would you stay go out a lot, or was it mostly like staying home and like drinking? Um, towards the end, it was mostly just staying home and uh, and drinking because it was like kind of like the COVID era and mm -hmm. everything. But um, like before that, we would go downtown and like all that stuff. Like I've been into effects before, but I d don't really remember what it looks like inside. <laughs> like that's with a that's lot of clothes. Yeah. I probably don't even remember. What yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like so I just know like there's like an upper floor. I remember walking up some stairs at a point, but um, like other than that, I don't remember much about it. I get it confused with this. There's this one in Tucson, ICBs or something that looks exactly the same almost. And really? I never know which one I'm at. Yeah. Like it's a confusing one. Yeah. Um, we have some comments here. Uh, well, what are we hiding? That one got hidden. Um, hey, Carlos. Hi, Vernie. Can you? Un oh, Vicky. Oh, Vicky's watching. What's up, Vicky? Like, Vicky and Vern. I've been friends with them since high school. They would. <laughs> hey, do you guys like our TikTok lady? Would you be friends with her? Let us <laughs> I know. think they just joined, but I'm going to play another one. Here. Yes. I don't know if you guys just joined, but watch our TikTok fine and see if you'd be friends with her. Or Vern would And you I would date love. Her? I would yeah, Veronica, let us know if you would date her. <laughs> I would love to reach out. Is this the the new one? Let me see. Hold on. Is it just, just me, me or, or does, does anyone, anyone else see? see? Oh, that's the wrong one. So hold on one second. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, sister? No. Well, yeah, her sister would be a good person to. Yeah, we'll keep showing this girl because I'm intrigued by her. Yeah. I want to keep following. Well, I'm and, following her on TikTok. She, yeah, I'm um, not too. She's very. Um, she had a second backup TikTok for a minute because really? the she other one, yeah, it, it took me to that one for when I first got on TikTok and then I found the other, cause there were only like 10 videos on it. And I guess she had gotten banned 
temporarily. Well, yeah, the thing she's saying, shit. I know. I'm surprised they're not all flagged. I'm yeah. surprised she's not getting a, knocking on the door from the FBI or like some kind right. of background, especially after. That's why. I'm, that, I'm dude. I'm not talking about a couple hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking <laughs> about thousands That's of insane. these and, motherfuckers. And that dude. too is like I think a thing of like. If, if TikTok's only been around X amount of time and you've already posted over thousands of videos, like that's yeah. in its way. And they have like no weird, likes, no comments, thing. hardly any views, maybe a couple hundred views. Yeah. And she's got thousands of I them. I think there's a lot of other people that are like, they're following, but they don't say anything. They're just like well, watching. You there's like read, no likes. They're like, I, I don't get excited. Like this, yeah. but... I get excited when I see a comment. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I was hearing the comment. Maybe, maybe she'll <laughs> answer. So people, most people are like, go get help, girl. And, and she like, never answers. She no, never she never answers. she never responds back to people, oh, like, but she's I'm always asking. What, what am I supposed to surrender, surrender, to? surrender to? Do I, Do I like, like, is there, is there some, some sort of fucking website, website or something that I can go on? on? Um, who, who wants, wants to, to who, wants who wants to pay to have sex with me, a.k.a. rape me because I don't want to have sex with you guys? You know, I would actually like to find someone that I have shit. What'd you say? Wait, so she won't. Okay. Come on, with, that I can actually have sex with, you know? Like a like fucking a normal person. person. Not, Not like, like a rapist. rapist. Thank, Thank you for you coming to my TED, TED talk. talk. She says that a lot. She says, welcome to my TED talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she wants a site where she gets sex, but then she doesn't want to have sex with them. So then they'll rape her. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Veronica says she's in <laughs> no i'm in i'm good oh dear oh no you're good yeah veronica she's even too crazy for you just kidding <laughs> i love you Vern. wow no <laughs> Vern's my friend that i used to tell her um i was like like mean girls how they're like you're not invited to my party because i think you're a lesbian oh, yeah. <laughs> <I'm telling> her, <laughs> so all the time i was like yeah I'm, I'm birthday's coming up but you're not invited because i think you're a lesbian uh, <laughs> My favorite lesbian yeah this girl's wild and it's so weird to me like uh, people again like how we do go out on stage and we will put ourselves out there in that way in a real world sense but now i guess social media is becoming a real world yeah, these, thing these these yeah. tiktoks aren't like, private so i'm no, able to yeah. grab them yeah. download them so i'm sorry lady but yeah. like maybe you shouldn't be posting publicly like that no. if you it's like, well, and then, okay, so I'm kind of switching transition of like what people. Because I fought, you know, I fought internally about showing these videos or not. Mm -hmm. I even talked to Patty about it. I was like, I don't know if we should. Like, but she's showing all that she's stuff. She's showing it. And it's not like we're filming people high on meth on the streets. You know, no, you ever seen those videos no, where no. it's just like somebody's filming somebody all doing a dance or something? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little. Yeah, we're, it's her. She's filming herself saying this stuff and putting it out there. It's right. not like yeah. she's doing it on her own. It is like sad, but everybody, I mean, think about how many people have mental illness out there. There's not there's like everybody has some sort of mental oh, illness everybody. as a sense. Everybody. So it's like she's just heightened. Um, can you take the your the cursor off cuz I can't read the comment, the last one. Where? It says hi. Oh, uh, pretty the sure cursor. your sister's friend. Right here. This one, the one on the screen. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Somebody came into my Shut room yesterday at Williams. And they're like, it smells so good. I was like, yeah, I always want my room to smell good. Because Veronica's room, we've been roommates off and on throughout the years. And her room always smelled like heaven. Oh, like, all lesbians. lesbians I, dude, she has so many great so products So many fruity in there. smells in the lesbian. Me and my friend Mario room. would like sneak in there when she was not home. And we didn't do anything. We'd just walk in there and like smell all the, we just like twirl yeah. around and smell it so now i always like Damn. i was like i need my room to smell really good yeah <laughs> um, live up to Vern stand there good job <laughs> good job Vern. um yeah but the people talking speaking of lesbians and kind of pivoting but again people what they put out there and what they like actually live their life as there's this girl a 90 day fiance uh stephanie something or other and i actually used to watch 90 day fiance when she was in have you heard of this show i have yeah. okay yeah so you're aware of the premise so she was part of the first like lesbian couple on there that was oh, supposed okay. to maybe wed and she met this australian chick and she goes over there meanwhile the stephanie chick is already like but like somewhat famous on youtube yeah of putting like cheesy like sexy videos wearing lingerie talking about her sex life all this stuff um but she also has like a illness as uh, some sort of like in can't remember something with her her like blood cells uh don't reproduce correctly and her bone oh. marrow is a little messed up so she was kind of sickly 
put all that together. She goes out there and then she's a total prude with this lesbian chick, like doesn't even want to like touch her. She's there for three weeks. They don't even kiss. They oh, get wow. in a big fight. And I think the whole thing was her just trying to be like more famous and on TV. Okay. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yep. she's like, I don't even think she was really even like, she said she was bisexual, but I don't think she really even like girls in a sense. Okay. Yeah. And she, she ten reasons, but the chick she Australia to me was fucking hot. Really? Yeah. She kind of looked, you know, Jared Ostrom's girlfriend or fiance. Yes. Yeah. Anastasia? She, yeah. She yeah. kind of reminded me of her in a sense of how she dressed and stuff, oh, and really? like had like cool rainbow hair and things. Yeah. And I was like, that's awesome. But the that's seventy sick. chick was such a prude. Comes back, they break up. Um. Then she starts selling her farts did you hear about this chick oh is that the one who had like a heart attack doing it yeah but yeah i heard that or like that's almost. almost been debunked or something she's also but here's the thing she's i guess she has a disease but some people and i've been here at moments where you get so into your illness that you let it take on who you are and yeah. it becomes you if oh, that makes okay. sense it becomes your personality yeah and she i think became a hypochondriac because of that so yes. every little thing um so yeah so then she started selling her Fart jars and then said she why was that debunked she said she was having some sort of heart attack but um she was just trying to push out too many poops i don't know the full the story attack. yeah she <laughs> but she was eating bean curd and she was eating <laughs> uh, all kinds of shit to make her fart stinky i guess Ew. <laughs> but do you think it would keep like, yeah yeah yes yeah. you know when okay so like at um dead shows when I used to go to dead shows in the yeah, late 80s, early did. 90s, oh. um, they would be there would be nitrous in balloons. Mm. I mean, the same. It's a gas. I so, okay. yeah. But even in the smell would stay. How do you feel about fart jars? That's it's it's gross. I don't like it. But like, <laughs> obviously, it's a weird thing to do. <laughs> gross. I don't it's, like it. Yeah, I, that's not my thing. It's like a weird thing to do. But then it's also like, who the hell is buying that? And that's who cares? Also a weird. Good thing for her. To do. I'm saying good for I'm her. Not, She's yeah. making money. Nothing on her. Make your money. Sell your panties. Yeah. Whoever do that. But it's like you said, who yeah. the fuck is buying? Yeah. That? Would you that's, ever do that? What? Sell, sell your my... panties. Yeah. I even asked Patty this. I was like. There, she would do it. I would. There was, she put yeah. the, the most grannyest panties on <laughs> and sell it to some. Because yeah. when I was in Japan back when I was, <laughs> when I was in Japan, um, I don't know. They have a huge vending machine uh, population there. So yeah. there's vending machines everywhere. And they have beer. They have yeah. porno mags. And they even have 18-year-old to granny panties that you can buy in vending machines. What? Wow. See, yeah. and again, like used. Used. That's not, insane. Not yeah, used. That's wild. Does that okay, so if you had to choose between a fart jar and uh buying panties, which one if you had to pick one? One hundred percent the panties. Okay. Because, yeah, would, would it be which aged person? This is my age. <laughs> this is my, like, yeah. This is regular. You don't want the yeah. oh, I would no. like the regular, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they ever like, like? Women bleed? have a lot of but shit they, coming like, out of their vaginas. Bleed in there, <laughs> on there. Not. Would guys? Here's my question to the dudes: Do they even get off if there's maybe even like blood in there for some reason? I don't know. I'm not into that, so I will ask you. Like, that. I know, right? Like, what the would... fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I, I've gosh. never been into that. I've never been into feet. I've never been into any yeah. of that the foot weird thing. kink shit. Yeah. You know? I was wondering too with the foot thing. I mean, I know there's part of your amygdala that gets a little messed up on like the wiring of what's wrong and gross and what's pleasurable. Yeah. But also like how other things are hot, like how for a while I was like curvaceous women back in the like yeah. Greek Roman times because you had more money and that was hotter and you wanted to be pale and soft. And I'm big. more into that um, than I am. Yeah, but it goes through phases. Else. And so I'm wondering even just with how uh, that happened, like maybe the foot thing is to prove like, oh, if you can take care of your feet, then you can probably take care of other things. Because I did hear one guy saying, it turns me on to know that they take care of their feet because that just means they're clean. Oh, like, okay. Like, all over. like if you can take care of that part of your body, then you probably take care of everything from the head in yeah. between. Yeah, I I mean I'm not saying it's okay. I've been with a couple I wait for of... This to, do you to have a upload. foot thing? I do not. No. <laughs> do you yeah. have any weird things? Sorry, I'm putting you on the uh, spot. No, no, you're sex. good. Um, <laughs> not really. It's kind of just like normal stuff, honestly. Just, no. yeah. Normal? Like, there's not, like, I'm not really out there with, like, all that stuff. Wait, when did you get a cell phone? 
<laughs> I got a cell phone when I was uh, in like sixth or seventh grade, I think. Did you have like internet access on that? I did on like my, yeah, I think I did, yeah. But um, I it was like mostly using internet when I got an iPhone and I got an iPhone in like eighth grade, I think. What? Where were you yeah. born? Uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. No, what when? year? Oh, uh, 97. Jesus 97. Christ. That's what I'm asking because you're like 10, 11 years younger. We didn't yeah. grow up with the cell phones. Therefore, like the internet porn wasn't. Yeah. I mean, at home, sure, dial up internet, whatever, the DSL lips, yeah. um, dick sucking internet. Uh, <laughs> but that stuff we would sometimes, but for the most part, I think about the kids now or even yeah. your age that had it readily accessible. Do you, yeah. was that something you used a lot? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever watched porn like on a desktop. Like ever, I never have. Yeah, who even it's does that? I have a laptop. I have. I've never watched even yeah. on my laptop. It's all phone, man. So back yeah. in the day, if you <laughs> wanted to download porn, it was pictures. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. So you would go to before the internet even started. They had these things called bulletin board systems. Yeah. <laughs> where you would call a this. fucking landline that's yeah. hooked to a computer. This little thing. I mean, you know the er, er, yes. er, that kind of shit. Yeah. This is way before your time. It's like no, dial up it was or about something when you were born. Okay, yeah. Um. And then uh, you would go to, so like I say, if I had my computer plugged into a landline mm -hmm. and the modem, my computer would turn on and they'd show uh, like all the files that they have that I can download from them, right? Yeah. A lot of it was fucking porn. Like the 90% of it was just porn pictures. And just to download a fucking eight megabyte picture uh -huh. would take anywhere from half hour to an hour oh that's you really insane. had a plan you're like that's insane <laughs> you're like that's no, it'll tell you, it'll tell like, you right, i think i'll jack off tomorrow i better yeah, download yeah, exactly <laughs> or you get halfway and you see a nipple and you're like all right <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, wild like, like how dick pics would download on like the blackberries back in the day it was like one little pixel at a time yeah. you're like how big is it keep going that egg, that, maybe that's where the eggplant imagery came from because that because oh, that's what it looked like when yes, it was pixelated it was oh yeah <laughs> That's wild. So I've got one for you since you guys are into yeah. uh like Oh, I'm not. I don't know about well, no, here's no, here's a good <laughs> little, little <laughs> foot fetish here. What? Wait. <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. like I don't gag that often. I can handle a lot of shit, but for some reason that really bothered me. Like, especially when he, like, the, his tongue, how he, like, really got into it for a second there. Yes. What do you think that is? <laughs> Wait, show me his picture. Like, just pop up the, like, him again. Uh, he oh. has a haircut. He looks like he... He, he looks like a normal guy. He looks yeah. like, like... In fact, he looks like a guy... He's in your local that... fraternity. Yeah. <laughs> he's got his oh. Columbia jacket or whatever on. Now, do you think this is obviously a uh. shoe he's worn? Yeah. You, wait, no, it looks like a lady shoe. Is it's it? a lady shoe. So you think he had this in like a backpack that he just pulled down and started he, sucking on? Yeah, he probably stole that from sucking like... Sucking on chili dog. Yeah, he <laughs> stole that from his next door neighbor who had her muddy boots outside because she didn't want to track it in her house. And then he just like stole them and got on the bus and just like couldn't wait. That's like serial killer tendencies. And I'm wondering... Like, dude, dude, did you see that? He like it's... pulled the hair off. But he's... Yes. I'm wondering if this is... Ew. Look, 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 look. <laughs> look, watch, watch. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, my God. Like a hair out of his food. He's not bothered either. He did not stop. No, for he's down. Second. I don't know if that's sex. I wonder if that's sexual or just fucking weird as shit. Oh, it's definitely. It, who knows? Like maybe he likes the taste. Have you ever yeah, heard people that eat hair? Yeah. Well, have you seen those like strange addiction things? Like yes. people eat like baby powders. One lady was eating her husband's ashes. Yes. I knew a chick that, that was one? eating chalk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they chalk something about like the talcum powder, but the lady who ate all of her husband's ashes and family was so pissed off and they were trying to get their like basically get the rights to like take his ashes back before she ate the last. She'd barely had like a little bit left. That's oh, weird. It That's... was so weird. I was like, what is happening? I think Tupac's friends smoked him. Yeah, that That's I've heard. I'd wild. be down <laughs> with that with my friends. I wouldn't. Yeah. I've had my mom's ashes in my mouth on accident. For sure. Oh, that's that joke that I tell is not a fake one. Really, I, the, the Grand Canyon one, where like 
hair. It's all like the, the big Lebowski. Yeah, the wind picked up and my mom came in my mouth and I spit her out. Oh, awesome. I spit her out because I'm, used, which is weird because I'm used to swallowing. Like, that's I hate saying jokes on here, joke. but it's a true you should story. Use it. I yeah. do. And right. I, I pulled yeah. her out. I pulled out at the last show I did too, um, which was really fun. And yeah, even Caleb Mulkey was like, that's like my favorite joke of yours. It is yeah, that's I, awesome. That was on my first set ever too. Right. My first set, that joke was on there. I was like, it still holds up. Um, oh, but yeah, I had to eat the ashes. And there's time where I'm like moving her ashes or something and like a little bit falls out of like the little urn thing. I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just start rubbing into my skin. Mama. Yeah. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. My mom's ass. <laughs> Just like licking them. That's so gross. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Like, I'm like bleeding Let me see eyeliner. if I can. Let me see. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I don't know if this is one so how do you seen. feel about the would you ever date an inanimate object or um i don't think so <laughs> or is there an animal that you find sexy uh no uh no <laughs> um yeah what if we were supposed so. to be mixing with other types of species this whole time so no, that we're, we're stronger not. oh yeah like i'm not saying i want to do that guys i'm not well, gonna go you fuck know, a gorilla or during anything during the time that uh what do you call it? The regular human. And then you had the Neanderthals. Yeah. They were all living together at the same yeah. time. Yeah. So there was interspecial. That's how like, we, be, well, no, because some of know. them were like, not related come, to. That's how dogs isn't were made that, though, though. Don't you think that's odd? They, they did intermingle. What? It has been found that they did. They did intermingle? Yeah, they did intermingle. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause some of us have more of one than the other, I think too. Something. Yeah. Our blood's. Our blood things, but yeah. What if we're supposed to be more, and then we're like be like a platypus? And yeah, we could just I don't have think all we're having things. sex with animals, dude. I think these are like two legged people. I mean, the mule. <laughs> there's a mule. There's a made yeah. out of donkeys and horses, and they're badass. Yeah, I'm sure some there's... farmer somewhere has <laughs> shot a load Zorse. into a sheep. Yeah, yeah. Zorse. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so but that they didn't, didn't get, get a kid. True. So. Oh, and I asked William Willard. He said he didn't think it was possible. Uh, I think we did. We talk on here about um. The uh, the woman, yeah, we did. Who got pregnant off of a dead body? Like oh, that. I heard about that. Yeah. yeah, he said that it probably wasn't possible because the they go flaccid, like the dick couldn't well, stay up. Is, yeah. And that I don't know how that works. And that yeah. he doesn't know how it would be able to. Produce. Well, maybe she got him in rigor. No, he had a hard oh. penis when he died. And she's like, all right, we're going to jump on that shit. <laughs> yeah. rigor. In rigor. I get all rigor Marnus. Yeah. <laughs> I like my dicks in rigor. <laughs> that rigor dick. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Yep. <laughs> Two hard R's on that one. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Sorry, Jake. Oh, We've gone off cuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wild uh, one. <laughs> oh man, I'm like more videos, more videos. I lost, I lost about ten people. Wait, okay, we got kidding. twenty minutes. <laughs> I like that this might be the first one that Vicky might be watching because she's hilarious. <laughs> I want her to go. And then, oh yeah, Veronica, they're like my sisters of Alan Gordo, but they all live well, some live here now. Anyway, <laughs> all right, we'll switch gears since we only have twenty minutes. We'll get into the comedy <laughs> talks. Uh, it was fun. Uh, yeah, I'm going to revel after this. So I can't okay. even switch from the rigor dick. I'm yeah, like, show. It's, uh, isn't it uh, Steph's first? Um, well, one of his headline headliner? here. I here. don't know. Is it? Maybe um, here. I think it's his first headline at Rebel. Yeah, yeah. that's probably okay. right. Yeah. Yeah, the last show, other than roast battles, I went. The last headlining show I went was David David Roseman. Is oh, there. So I'll be back tonight. Yeah. It'll be a lot of fun. No ladies on the show, I see. Yeah. No <laughs> vaginas the up there. Be. Because <laughs> women aren't funny. I'm just kidding. <laughs> then why am I here? <laughs> have you seen Have you seen that that uh, um, documentary? Women aren't funny. Not yet. It's in my it's whatever. Good. Yeah, I need to watch it. It's on Netflix, right? Yeah. They okay. well, it could or, be on YouTube. No, it's on Hulu. On Hulu. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I keep that forgetting. That I need to watch that. Yeah. Did you watch the Comedy Store documentary? I didn't. I still got to watch. You got to see that, dude. dude. That really one. Is Another one you got to see is Sam Morell's new documentary yeah, about uh, doing comedy during oh, the pandemic. Oh, uh, I saw that one. Yeah, that that's one's on great. YouTube. Yeah, that one's a fun yeah. one. Um, and I was like, cool. We kind of did something like that last year, right before <laughs> that, which is sweet. Um, but yeah, the comedy story one definitely was one that gave. I mean, I cried multiple times. Really, that. that's even what I hear. It's just, real emotional. It's just like even just the passion behind the whole project and them yeah. is just. 
it gets to you, especially if you love comedy so much. Yeah. Um, which is, do you watch a lot of comedy? Like, I do. Yeah, I watch a ton of it. Like just uh, Sam Morrill. Uh, I've been watching him a lot. He's, no, he's great. great. I love he's him. Great. Like Mark Norman. Mark is Norman's one of my favorites. favorites. Mark Norman's one of my favorites. He is. That dude's gonna be a legend. He is. He's great. so good. I, love I don't his think voice so. Too. You don't think so? You don't think I don't so? think he's gonna be a legend. I think he's gonna be regarded as like one of the. Top I think he's gonna be regarded as a David Tell. David Tell is regarded as a legend, but nobody's like everybody. All comedians say it, but you don't hear any normal people saying. That, that is my number one favorite comedian of all time. Is Mine too. Tell. Really? Yeah. He's my favorite. Aww. My favorite too. Yes. He Soul is. Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's kind uh, of a weird thing when you can like ask somebody what their favorite comedians are. You can tell a lot about a person in a 100%. sense. You're just like, oh. Yeah. Well, I grew up like with that. Insomniac. Yes. Oh, yeah. that was such a good show, dude. Yeah. I would say I've just to watch that. Yeah. And that's good. why I became an Insomniac. Then we saw him thing live at the, <laughs> we saw him live at the Star Center and I met him. Really? Oh, that wasn't that long ago, right? That was about Didn't three Cor- years ago. Am I oh, okay. wrong? Didn't Courtney Foster open up that show? Really? I yeah. want to say. Awesome. Yeah, oh, Redhead, shit. Courtney yeah. from here. She's back out doing comedy again. So shout out to Courtney Foster. Yeah, she's great. I love her. Funny. She's really good on the roast battles. And uh, her boyfriend, Ian, or her fiance, Ian's rad. Yeah. Russian awesome. Girlfriends is the band, a local band, Russian Girls. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. Oh, cool. They're awesome. Like metalish. Yeah, they're like, oh, is she Russian? Did you go see them? I they're, didn't, no. She's not. She could pass. She's like Redhead. They're both kind of Russian. Russian women are a different breed. Yeah, she's like yeah. six foot. She's very tall. Have you ever been like, around beautiful. Russian women? Uh, yeah, my uh friend, <laughs> another Kayla was married to one. She's very tiny but very powerful seeming. Like she just exuded like she seemed even when she's being nice. Are I was like, is married? she gonna like kill me? Yeah. Um. Uh. No, they divorced. <laughs> because, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, exactly. he didn't make enough money, right? Uh. <laughs> she actually did make more than him, but she went to school and. Right, she so she here. empowered herself, mm-hmm. and then did backing him. off of him. I mean, he makes he makes he has a good job, but yeah, he brought her to the states. He went to Russia for college. Oh wow! And he speaks fluent Russian, and then like brought her really? back. That's I mean, sick. she went to school here. Oh, too. speaking of Russian, Russian, Russian. whatever uh, new shit there. What? Oh, oh, we got it right. They heard us speak, and then they're like, "Here, out." Uh, I'm. He's always posting. Yeah, I know. Me too. That's. So- <laughs> It's They're a always bot. watching. Yeah. Somebody's watching. It's a bot. Somebody's listening. Even the robots are going to become like Cubans now. How do you feel about AI? That it's it's a slippery slope, I think, 100%. Like AI, like when it comes to like the technology that we use, I guess it has its pluses. But like when they're making these like like robots that have like- The multiverse? Yes, like the multiverse, mm-hmm. all this stuff. It's a very slippery slope and it's it coming. can get bad. Oh, well, yeah. you know that is- Oculus that's out now? Yes. That's a multiverse, and you can actually go to a bar in that. Um, yeah, and it'll like make your uh, your you know because you're viewing in that thing. It'll yeah. make it seem like you're drunk. Oh, oh shit. wow! That's and there's little insane. kids that have been you jumping like, on this thing. Drunk vision. That's wild. Well, hey, they don't actually put it in their body. Then, they can go get drunk without having a drink. And the kid yeah. threw up too. No shit. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah the, it was like when I tried to go see Cloverfield, I left because it was too much. Like, I saw some I got, t- TikTok lady talking about it. She's all, my kid came up to me and asked me if I could, if he could buy a game off Oculus. And I said, yeah, go ahead. And then come, he came out and puked. And I was like, what <laughs> game are you playing? He's like, oh, bar or something. <laughs> <laughs> bar game? <laughs> but bar. now Disneyland has um, uh, put a lot of investment into this. So what's basically going to happen, what I think is going to happen with the technology that's advancing so much, they're actually going to put you in Disneyland in the virtual world. You'll buy a ticket that's cool. for like half the price of what a real ticket. Yeah. And then you'll go to a virtual land and ride the rides. And, and that's insane. Darty, do you ever go to Disneyland or World? I've never, um, I've it's been a long time. I went to Disney World when I was maybe about seven oh, yeah, and then so Disneyland good. about like eight or nine-ish. So it's been a while because now my aunt and uncle, they go every year with their family. Oh, really? And there's now, yeah, just rides that are a lot of VR. You're not actually really moving and they're just simulated so that you're moving and yeah. stuff. And they have things like flying by, but you're in the same spot the whole time. Well, would you go to Disneyland virtually if you were like, fuck, I don't uh, want to deal with people? Yeah, maybe. I'm yeah. more of a Six Flags person, though. I'm not yeah. like. Well, what if the Six Flags, like they're. they're that would be sh- it's basically yeah. a technology that Disneyland is backing. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. So, yeah. I'm sure eventually fuck it's going to go into the other fucking, <laughs> you know, other uh, uh, amusement parks and shit like yeah. that. So, yeah interesting it's wild i saw this thing where um because you know how there's like the the racing simulators uh-huh there was this guy who had built one but it's a real car on this platform 
and it has the big old screen and it's like a it's like a drifting simulator and the cars moving and everything oh yeah so i've seen those two. stuff like fucking that is crazy fucking cool. see yeah, i would want to awesome. do that that seems cool because yeah. i want i really want to like race a car like around a track but yes. i think i would probably die going yeah, that i fast. don't think it's the same like you know i mean going to disneyland would be fun because everybody all of us could put on vr things okay let's go, go together yeah. <laughs> as long as the graphics were <laughs> top notch and shit let's go. Yeah. well i wouldn't want to i hate dealing with crowds and shit i don't know about you but yeah i'm not a stand and disneyland is much. fucking elbow to elbow yeah yeah especially now i don't want to be around that many people i know truly. we used to go to six flags a lot in the summers growing up so i love roller coasters are you yeah uh, i do too i haven't been to like i've just, just cliffs here but like I haven't been to like a Six Flags. Like the last time I went, um, yeah, it was a Six Flags in Denver, I think. And I was like, I, w I was really young, so I wasn't. I was still scared to ride a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. I just can't do the spinny ones because I throw up on those. Me yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Well, at the fair, Pally's like, "Come on, Dad, let's go!" Yeah. Oh my God, dude, I had to get on one. I thought because our we're older. I'm older, so my yeah. equilibrium's not the same as hers. Yeah, she's always running around and True. flipping around on. Monkey bars and shit. So she's used to that shit. So I didn't even think about that. Their yeah. equilibrium does change, the center of gravity yeah. and things. Yeah. Yep. It's fucking weird. It's wild. So I like weird. that. Yeah, I didn't do any. I went to the fair this year for like the first time here and didn't go on the rise. But it was nice to walk around. Me and Jess Wood went. Uh, oh, yeah. Shout out to Jess Wood. Watch oh, Get she's Wood. Awesome. Um, yeah. Also watch the BS show. Okay, so we got about twelve minutes. Um, what else do you have going on? Um, so uh, I have, I'm on that show February 4th that you're on as well yeah. at the Guild. Uh, yeah, Good that job. One's, yeah, that was going to be really cool. <laughs> Good job bringing that up because I had it yet. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. that Karen Carson's? No, uh, uh, Alex G. Yeah, um, yeah, I think Shout so. Shout out to Alex G. Uh, and then I think, he just um, started getting shows there. We're like, all right. Yeah, and then Royal is uh, producing that one um, uh, oh. at the Guild. Yeah. Is, who's hosting then? Alex is hosting. Yeah. I think Alex should try to like do some time and then let somebody else host. I've never seen him host, and nothing against yeah. him or anything. Yeah, but if he wants to like do some more comedy, maybe give himself a spot. Yeah, and, that'd be awesome. Um, uh, but yeah, who's on that show? We got like I think Jess was uh, on that one. Sarah Kennedy. Uh, yeah, Sarah, Josh Fournier. AJ um, had to step out, right? Or no? Uh, I'm not sure. AJ Matthews. Um, He's there tonight. Yeah, AJ's yeah. Gonna be there tonight. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you, uh, JBM is on that. Mm -hmm. uh, Eister. Uh, me and then uh, Caleb, I think that sounds about right. Yeah, and I that's think that's lot. about it. Carla Vasquez comedy dot com for tickets. Yeah. Um, yeah, sets... if you ever send me the information, I did like last month. Oh yeah, I already, I already. Put yeah, it it's up. already up there. Yeah. It's already up there because <laughs> yeah. I remember I was like, I had like no shows coming Bud up. Sent me his like, stuff, <laughs> and I'm like, where's your shit at? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like nobody's sending me. I was like, there's like no shows right now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the guild, and I think we're doing three minutes. Four I minutes. believe so. Uh, I think That's it's like so two, short. three, something like That's that. That's not yeah. short. Three Usually, minutes is like. Three minutes is a late night set. I guess so. Yeah. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, yeah that's just like a lot of it's a classic, quick, it's classic one liner time. ones. Yeah. It's like, yeah, doing a competition or some sort of thing, just put all your best shit in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you going to be on the gong show? Um, I am not. No. Ah, why? Um, why? It's uh, very no, nerve wracking. No, fuck like, it. Just throw yourself into competition. We brought this up last night. Um, you guys are just, you, you need to do it because yeah. if you don't, you're not going to feel what it feels like to bomb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've, I've had some bombs, but no, that like. No, major bombs. Like, yes. Yeah, exactly. Full that's fucking a... like the packed crowd. Yes, that's yeah, true. On those, yeah. I feel like it's like we're just lending to the night. It's not even like, yeah, it's about us and we want to do well and we want to win for sure. But even when we get gong, like if we put ourselves down too much it's like taken away from like you can't yeah. in that situation you're like cool the audience is more into like everybody's just like the energy's still moving and yes. you can't be like this sour apple about shit like yeah just ride the wave yeah you should do some of those um, I was, um I, i'm like 50 50 on that i would um patty's like, heard your fuck you jamar so yeah. fuck you, jamar. <laughs> every time, every we time we i laugh. see him now every time i see jamar in my head i'm just like nothing gets him i just hear my own voice say fuck you jamar yeah. <laughs> <laughs> better not be a judge this one anyway sorry. <laughs> uh, but no i um i would like to do it in the future for sure um it would be cool to win some money that'd be cool i'm not planning to i don't think i would make it very far yeah this but, time but, it took a lot longer to get comedians into it and i yeah. think that me making that video is what intimidated everybody oh they don't want to be like <laughs> well because it was just gong after gong after yeah. gong like that's what a gong show is it's fun yeah. it's like whatever it was a fun night it, it, it was really was were you there it was great yeah i was there yeah i think yeah. i've seen you. you went to the rose yeah. battles last week too right um no not last week um all right no, i've been uh, trying to those ones are it was fun and a lot of people but i felt like the crowd is a little quiet or something it was oh, a really? lot of like 
it was a lot of the like body laughing trash. they were like really? it was more just like to themselves laughing like you could see their faces and everybody yeah. was paying attention but nobody was being vocal or like even bugs like all right what do you guys think it's like chirp chirp chirp, chirp. <laughs> the one like, that was happening? the one that was like uh the month before the, the the rose battle before this one i went to that one and missed, that one was great i missed that one it was so nice seeing that one i think, I think that's the only one i've missed recently i'm thinking about getting into roast battles that would be cool um because yeah i don't know well what you, you won the one against buck that was a ucf that's different what or does that mean ultimate comedy flight club the same thing kind i guess and it's that one battling. is actually kind of a little wilder because you have to tell your own jokes while trying to do a roasty with them and like oh, kind of play off of each other. Yeah. Um, Six Sun Productions, shout out to Six Sun, uh, Troy Wilson and all that. Those dudes, uh, they put those on. They used to do them like every month and hopefully we'll have another one soon. Cool um, I think I'm going to be a judge on the next one because I've won the last two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, but I beat Buck on the first one and then Ian Tai on the second. Oh no, and then uh, Joaquin. Luna, but and oh. Ian Ty, I guess. Oh, Ian Ty is easy. Man. Ian Ty be on the first one, and then he even told me. He I'm just fucking with you, Ian. He told me he was like, I was. He's like, at least if I lost, it was to you. I was like, oh, thanks, I guess. He's a sweet dude, but yeah, yeah that no, was. Buck a, said that too. He's like, if anybody I lost, it was, I'm glad it was you. That meant a lot, yeah. and that was the first time I had been like really engaged with Buck on first. I was like two months into comedy, oh, and really? I just like threw myself in. But he and I have a really good uh, chemistry. I think we learned that that night because we yeah. really bounced off of each other. Um, That's cool. Which is fun. Uh, but yeah, you should get into those too if they How come back How long have you been do, doing comedy? Eight, eight months? Uh, eight months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's so, time to just start. Did you already ask right. him what it made him want to get into comedy? Yeah, that's where I was getting earlier because you yeah. watch a lot of comedy. So I do. When yeah. was it so, um, in your brain to start doing I have, it? I've always loved like stand-up comedy. Uh, the mm -hmm. first uh, stand-up comedy special I watched, uh, it was the George Lopez, Why You Crying? Oh yeah, and, I love George. Um, I remember yeah, that it was one. great. That was great. That was a good oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like really Me and my young. Um, always say, "Why are you crying?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was uh, really young watching that. I think I had to have been like maybe like eight or nine, mm -hmm. and uh, and then after that, it was like Eddie Murphy, Cat Williams. Um, so like that's kind of where like my like sense of humor had come from. That's I mm -hmm. never do clean stuff. It's all like yeah. wild. But um, like oh, recently, um because I went through phases and uh, like a little bit before the pandemic, I just dove back into watching comedy and specials and everything. And I went through like a period where I was like, really like just depressed. And I just wanted to watch stuff that made me laugh. And then like eventually, because I had always been like, kind of like wanting people to have a good time. So I'm like joking with people. So I've always kind of like been been like that. Yeah. And uh, eventually just watching like a lot of like Andrew Schultz and stuff, I was like, I, I gotta try it. I gotta do it because- Andrew Schultz is good. He's, he's really great. Funny. Oh, he's one of my favorites. Uh, that dude is awesome. Nice. But uh, no, I eventually I found um, the Inside Out. Um, I found yeah, those. Yeah, I was gonna ask what your first mic was. Yeah, Inside it was at, Out. Yeah, it was at Inside Out and uh, Royal and Holly were hosting. It was a long, long time ago. Well, it was like in May. It must have just like opened up too. That's yes. when things open up again. Yeah, yeah. The Inside Out. And I remember seeing you there, but I had one there. I was like, had he been around before? Like, because yeah. you seemed like you were writing and stuff. You didn't yeah. seem like super fresh, but yeah, you were just a baby then. Yeah, I know. Aww. Yeah, it was, Um. yeah, it was pretty rough. So I, um, I, I thought that Inside Out was the only open mic in the city. So for a while I was just doing it once a mm -hmm. week and I wanted to go more. And then I had went, it was one of the last shows at Inside Out. And I asked Holly, I was like, is there any more like open mics? And she's like, yeah, I'll send you a list. And uh, she's great. She sent me a whole list. That's and sweet. so I've been hitting uh, all the ones, um, yes. except for a few of them, because they get a little far from me. Mm -hmm. But um, I hit as much as I can just because, uh, you know, I want to get good. I, I love it. And um, I want to be the best that I can with it. <laughs> yes. And you, yeah, you seem like you're doing it for like the right reasons. You always seem yeah. like very uh, directed in what, what you want to be doing and yeah. and. But um, yeah, I liked you from the get go. Everybody's like, "Oh, that guy seems cool," and then you kind of come and leave. And we're like, "Oh, he's cool." And then one night at Lizard Tail, I think we're like, "Hey, yeah. come like, yeah, I don't yeah. know." And I left to Portland. I came back. I was like, "Yeah, hey, Jake's like hanging out with everybody." Has he been to the garage yet? <laughs> he has yes. been to the garage. No. Yeah. yeah, he's the garage is up there. Yes, last yeah. night. Uh, no, no last not last night. night. Last no. week at some point, um, I missed a couple recently. Yeah, it was last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're just a, he's a really smart writer. Have you seen Jake? <laughs> No. He's a very no, smart writer. Thank very you. Very witty. Very witty. Thank you. Um, which I love. Okay, we got a few more minutes. Um, all his social media stuff will be on in like the comments down comments there. Here, dude. Oh, we're yeah, gonna no, catch up with some comments. Uh, in, in the, the description. The <laughs> this script. <laughs> uh, what did Christian say? All right, same here. Inside Out is great. Yes, Christian, what's up? Yo. Another comedian here in town. Who I think the first time I saw him was also at Inside Out. Christian uh, R. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, Shout he was out. in the Gong Show. He does Gong Show, and he's coming back. Good is it really? For him. Yeah, he got gone the fuck out, and yeah. he's coming and back like a man. Hard nice. to go. Like, that's yeah. so fucking hard to go first, too. Yes. He went first. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like no, that, that he didn't go first. Yeah. yeah, he went first. He went first because Kate and Ella was second. Yeah, because I remember her being nervous. She was second. And he yeah, because remember right. they I thought had, the like, El Paso dude the world, was first. The, the rules and everything. Nah, El Paso didn't come till later. No, it was the El Paso. I have the video, dude. Maybe. It, it, it could be. I thought it no, was. No, Sam didn't go until no, way I thought later. it was Christian. Christian, tell us. Are you listening? Did you go first on the gong show? Yes or no? <laughs> Just comment now. We got three minutes before we end this. <laughs> but we got to send Jake up. Uh, yeah. Inbox access. Uh, first. Ah, yeah. See, I told See, you. He went first. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh. One and on and first i give out. anybody props that has gotten gonged and bombed and then come back and mm -hmm. try and redeem themselves yes. yeah you 100%. too too yeah mm -hmm. you're signed up again yeah. Heck yeah i don't really get that scared like there's other weird things in life i get like anxious about or whatever yeah. but i guess comedy i just you know you accept that you're gonna bomb at some point yeah. and you just exactly. gotta keep going and uh try to get better you do yeah. realize that if you're gonna be a comic you've got like the rest of your life that's you could never make it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, 100%. Yeah. Well, you know how some people get into <laughs> yeah. comedy and they're like, oh, I'm going to get rich. I'm gonna oh, get like, rich. yeah, I'm like that know. kid on yeah. the uh, greatest of them all. It's like, no, yeah. you're not. So no, you got to be need a day job for the rest of my life. For <laughs> <No>. sure. <laughs> like, Don't squash his dreams. But no, if you put in the hard work or whatever. If you follow the timeline of any comic, it's up, yeah. it's just an up oh, and yeah. down. Yeah. You got to put in 100%. at least, you got to at least set 10 years out to be like, yes. nothing's even going to happen for like 10 years. You yes. see the people two months in coming, like, when's the money coming? Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? That is ridiculous. Slowly roll. You're not in this for the right reasons. No. Which I think, yeah, it's a it's a wild art form. Um. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna probably write with CarlaVasquezComedy dot com. Anything else you wanna? Um, just follow me on Instagram, uh, Jake Jake Otero. It's in um, the description. Oh yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, and then um, I wish I could be longer. Um, I gotta come back. Yeah, you have to come back and and hang longer. Yeah, because this is great. <laughs> the I beginning love it. was a lot of shenanigans, which yeah. is really fun. Thanks for sitting with us on this. Um, yeah, go see Jake anywhere out in town. Come on the fourth to see both of us at the Guild at ten p.m. Yeah. It's a later show. There's also a show before that. I think at the Salt Yard that. Jess Wood is on uh, mm -hmm. Don Cherry show. Uh, so I'll be going to both of those that night. And yes, watch us every Wednesday, 6 p.m. We shall be here next week. Dude, everybody's like COVID-y and whatever. Yeah. So I don't even know who next week's guest is. Get, we will have the flyer out like next can Monday or Tuesday. Can I one more crazy lady video? Yeah, can we yeah. end this on a crazy lady thing? And that'll mm -hmm. be our, um, our goodbye to you guys. Oh, I don't know if we can call her. That's kind of mean to call her. No, crazy. yeah. Um, <laughs> she's our wonder woman. There you go. Our, <laughs> our lady. Our, our la lady. Our lady friend. Yeah. <laughs> our lady of TikTok. Yeah, hold on. Let me, I can see if this is one we were. Mine and Larry's girlfriend. <laughs> fuck a woman on this app because not a single fucking one of y'all have oh here you go here's one for carla i couldn't find the one where she talks about circulars i don't know if it's in uh, yeah she talks about she's gonna, gonna, gonna be the okay. worst serial killer this one here is for carla from, ooh, thank you <laughs> a little shout out from larry <laughs> <laughs> he's six feet away from me but <laughs> hi larry <laughs> okay it does maximize it All right. yeah let me maximize it um but here you go I don't know I don't who needs to hear this, but I literally, I literally hate, hate every fucking, fucking woman on this app because not, not, not a single fucking one of y'all have, have fucking come, come to try to help me after seeing, seeing all the shit, shit I've been, been put, put through. through. Telling y'all, I don't have I don't parents, parents to give a give fuck, a fuck about, me. about me. Um, um since, since I was a kid, kid, I was fucking neglected. Um, so, yeah. If any of y'all bitches give a fuck about your kids, then you also try to help another woman out. Woman to woman. <laughs> because if, if nobody, nobody cares, cares about, about me, me, I don't care about, about nobody's, nobody's fucking, fucking kids. kids. That's, That's not the not Bible. The, Bible. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. many twists and turns that can happen in a one minute video or like 40 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> She's taking us on I don't roller coasters. It's... Yeah, follow her on TikTok. Follow us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be make bringing sure, we'll sure. be following her and bringing you more videos in the future if you guys want to keep up with her too this way um but yeah thank you guys for commenting i always enjoy that if you're watching crazy los lunas lady what does that mean crazy los lunas does he know this chick wait do you know her that'd be hilarious if christian actually knew her she's was, lunas, so just... that'd be weird if the algorithm put her in los lunas because you're so close to her yeah. that the location was That'd like be crazy. Here. I'd be like, I gotta find it. I wouldn't put it past her for being a small town New Mexican girl. Like she could yeah. pass this one. Six months later, Car Patty. 
Sorry. <laughs> Patty, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gotta leave you for for different pastures, <laughs> wilder pastures. No, uh, fuck dad, dude. Oh, he's I joking. Would... I was like, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for letting us. Like, fuck dad, dude. There is no way, like, if you just sat there and talked to her, that's going to come out. Yeah, yeah, that has to. Like, just dating oh. her, like, she's going to say something. Yeah, yeah. wondering how long yeah. of just, like, chilling and maybe, like, smoking a blunt with her, would all of this come out? Like, I, it's I would kind be very of, interested. I feel really, like, bad for her. At least she has an outlet. Yeah. yeah but she, it doesn't seem like she has many friends. and That's like, true. You know, how old do you think she is? I'd say probably, like, 28 yeah. to 30. You think so? It looks about that, yeah. She looks I would imagine, late so. 20s, maybe 30. Say early 30s. Yeah, maybe like thirty one ish. Yeah. Uh, because well, her skin, she has nice. You have really nice skin, okay, Wonder Woman, <laughs> and you have nice blue eyes, and your hair looks silky, okay. <laughs> so just love yourself and try not to kill anyone. And I've tried. Uh, like, have you commented on any of her videos? No, I'm scared. Why not? <laughs> I mean, I've never done it either. <laughs> I just like watch from afar. I've done. I've, I think I've done emojis right. where it's like. You know that yeah, like yeah. shocked face emoji. You know? <laughs> Go follow her, guys. <laughs> All right, follow us. We'll be here next week. Jay Cotero, you're the best. Thank you for Thank being you here, so man. Much. Thank and you for have a great me. show tonight. I'm gonna go watch. You. you guys should too if you're nearby. Awesome. Bye, guys. Love you, Larry. Love you, Patty. Bye. Have a good one. <laughs>